I haven't looked at JetBlue. Okay, JetBlue is still higher. Okay, so save for JetBlue, which may be reviving its bid for Spirit Airlines. No wonder the rest are in the red. U.S. consumer complaints against airlines soaring 320% over pre-pandemic levels, and that's just for the month of April. Can you imagine when the Department of Transportation figures out the disaster that was Father's Day weekend this month? Well, once burned, travelers are now twice shy and turning to the roads instead. Let's give you a live look at Colonial Airstream RV. This is a dealership in Millstone, New Jersey, where Madison Allworth, our reporter, has been all day gathering the latest on the RV boom. The RV Industry Association says total RV shipments in May were the biggest on record, up 11.8% year over year. That despite gasoline prices still near record highs. The average price of ga regular gas right now, $4.86 per gallon. Okay, so a week ago it was 495, but with the July 4th weekend just two days away, recreational vehicle owners are outfitting their RVs and also their boats with equipment manufactured by Lippert. Lippert, formerly LCI, is a global manufacturer and supplier of RV, marine, commercial vehicle parts and products. Lippert president and CEO Jason Lippert is joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive. Good to have you, sir. You know, I I'm looking at all that's going on. It is incredible, and I get that people are going to the roads, but RVs are not an impulse purchase. They are expensive, and people are still buying them. What's going on on the ground in your world? Yeah, well, I think, you know, COVID, the COVID bus kind of got everybody back outdoors again, right? And that's a big deal for our industry. Um, you know, 65 million people say that they're going to take an RV trip in the next 12 months, according to a recent survey. 80% uh, of Americans are going to take a road trip this year. Um, so I think people are just getting really acquainted with being back out in the environment, in the outdoors, and RV plays right into that. Well, uh, Jason, I get that from when the pandemic and the lockdowns first hit, but this is a long vapor trail. When we look at some sort of stay at home, work from home, play at home stocks, some of them, most of them, in fact, are way down. This industry has managed to hold on. You all make the parts. I know you make everything from awnings, ramp doors, anti-lock braking, windows, kitchen, bath, all those solutions for RVs. What are the hottest selling items right now in your company? Yeah, so we provide a lot of the, the core products, the foundation, the chassis, the axles and suspension to the, uh, to the equipment makers. Um, you know, the awnings, like you said, the windows, the furniture, uh, a lot of the important items that the RVs can't do without. Um, so, you know, that's, that's really good for us. I think that inflation is really playing into uh, our hand, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, if you look at, you know, hotels are up 40 percent, um, airfare is up, you know, 25 percent. Um, so you look at rental cars up 25 percent. You know, if you want to rent an RV, you can do that for about five dollars more a night than what you could last year. The inflation in our business just isn't there. When you rent or if you purchase an RV, uh, you can offset that cost of ownership with some of the new platforms like Outdoorsy that allow you to rent your your new RV instead of just you know, making a monthly payment that, you know, you keep the RV and use it for two weeks out of the year. Now you can run it for 10 or 20 weeks out of the year and cover your cost of ownership. So there's some, you know, some counterinflationary things that are happening in our business that are really helping. We are looking at video from your company. And when you say chassis and doors and things like that, I'm thinking aluminum, I'm thinking steel, I'm thinking metals. We know that materials inflation is unbelievably hot searing hot. How have you managed to deal with such high costs? Well, luckily, the, you know, the industry was hot the last two years. Um, the demand was off the chart, record demand. And, and again, we only need 450,000 units a year to make a really good business. Uh, and we hit over 600,000 units uh, this past year. So, you know, we've, uh, we've been able to keep up. The customers have been willing to pay um, what they need to in this type of inflationary environment with steel being up. We've seen steel and aluminum cool back down over the last four or five months, and that's yeah. going to be helpful in the coming quarters. So high demand is a big, the big thing. Well, you, you're also involved in the marine business, and you make all kinds of products for boats. How has that business been holding up as compared to the RV demand? Yeah, so the, the marine OEMs got a lot slower start ramping up. Uh, the RV guys, uh, OEMs adjusted very quickly to the, the uh, race demand. So the Marines been a little bit slower. So their demand tail is out a little bit further right now. We have robust demand there. 
you know, for what it looks like the next six to 12 months, whereas the VRV business is starting to slow up just a little bit because we filled the inventory pipelines a lot quicker. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll tell you something. I, I was looking into the history of your company, and by the way, you have a, a pretty solid dividend here that you just raised. So the quarterly dividend, I believe it yields about 4% or just under that. On top of it, during Hurricane Andrew, for example, I mean, your company goes way, way back to the 50s, but Hurricane Andrew, when Homestead, Florida was hammered, your company stepped up and you made 10,000 chassis for FEMA equipment and FEMA vehicles. That to me is just good corporate responsibility where people were working 24 seven on your plant floors. When you fast forward to today, how much different is the economy then than it was than, than it is now? Well, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're several thousand uh, team members bigger today than what we were. It's a, it's a bigger ship to steer, uh, but we really diversified our business. You know, we were predominantly housing. Uh, we did a lot of housing for the manufactured housing markets. We did we did supply FEMA and, and turned off our our traditional markets and you know turned on FEMA every time there was a hurricane and a need for housing. Uh, but after 2010, you know we really were focused on RVs after markets. We got into Europe. Okay. Uh, we got into all sorts of trailering businesses and commercial vehicle businesses and buses. So you know we diversified our markets okay. along with marine, uh, diversified our markets uh, and market focus okay. pretty pretty solidly over the last decade. Right. So, you know, when these little bumps come along, we've got, you know, more markets to spread our, our business over. And if you think about RVs, you know, twenty-five dollars to $35,000 uh, a copy for the most, you know, the, the, the most popular units. So right, right. it's not a, a far stretch for families that are going to finance it or make the payments. So. If, if not that, then, then shares of the stock. Jason, it's good to see you. Thank you very much.